before the video starts, like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to start the video off with saying this: it, the issue is is that a lot of Roblox players are sheep. I'm going to be honest. The moment that game released, they grabbed their daddy's credit card, mommy's credit card, whatever the fuck it was, and they bought game passes on the game. This is why developers are scumbags and never release good quality games because they can milk you children for money. It's so disgusting. Now, I'm going to be honest, bro. Uh, yeah, these developers make so much money off of this shit. That's why I tell everybody to become a Roblox developer, bro. It might be the easiest thing to make a quick million dollars. It's probably the get-rich-quick scheme, bro. Because if this game can make over 10k in half an hour, imagine what you could do with an actual good quality game. Or like a semi-decent quality game. Now let's get on to the real topic of the video. Grand Kaizen just released. And now I'm, I'm kind of surprised because they released... A newer version of the game but it was worse than the older version of the game what were they doing for the past two years before I got banned I was in that discord since December 21st 2021 I ain't gonna lie I was hyped for the game back then but now that I see what they released five bandits horrible buggy mess everything is just bad in the game I'm, I'm, I'm surprised man I had a, this game was in development for over two years and you released something worse than the game that was two years ago Which makes no sense to me the old game re-released and had more content How bad of a developer do you have to be to make a downgrade of a free game that you were given? You were given a whole free game with a platform Everything and you still fuck it up is crazy. You might be the worst developers I've ever seen ever possible five bandits How and you didn't even let your testers test like bro Listen, the f chat, they closed the content creator and tester chat after the game release because they didn't let any single tester test the game. They didn't let anybody actually test the game. The reason Nasu made that video and got banned is because he was right. The f developers were stupid. They didn't let anyone test the game, and they had nothing ready for the release. It was just a bungled up garbage of trash, a pile of trash. But they didn't want to admit it, so they rushed it without letting the testers give them an honest opinion. Even in this screenshot, it proves that they knew there was going to be issues because no one tested the game. They just fully released that because they're trying to milk off a hyped up anime at the time. Because there's actually no content in the game. Five Bandits is crazy. And not only that, is that these developers are so bad and so egotistical. Instead of actually making a good game, when I called them out for it, at least I'm not broke. And then throws 3.7 million Robux. Wow, you made 10k for two years of work. Wow, congrats, man. Maybe work at fucking McDonald's because you'll make more doing that, you fucking idiot. Anyways, back to it. Now, a lot of people's stuff got rolled back in the game, so a lot of people got scammed. People spent money on the game. And honestly, bro, I don't even blame the devs for this. I blame you guys for being stupid. How, how would you... What, do you, what in your right mind was like, bro, I'm going to spend money on this game. You didn't even play the game. The game was out for 10 minutes. And the first thing you do is fight a boss 50 times, by the way, to go to the next mob. And you decide to spend money on the game already? You're literally sheep. I'm not even mad at the developers for, for scamming you guys. You guys are just idiots. I know not uh, most of you guys didn't do it. But like the small percentage of people who spent money on the game, you're the problem. You're the reason why they can do this. Now, for you suckers who still want to play the game, the game is going to be back in 24 hours. Now, I'm going to be honest. If I see any of you guys on that game, I'm going to be disappointed. If you spend money on that game, I'm disappointed. They're not going to change anything. You can't add a bunch of content in 24 hours. That's not possible. It's going to be the same five bandits. It's going to be the same buggy mess. It's going to be it's going to be ass. And the fact that the fact that people are still going to play this is crazy to me. It really is. It just proves my point that the Roblox community are sheep sometimes. Like the biggest sheep of them all. You wave something in their face and they'll play it. That's how bad Roblox games are right now. They'll play fucking anything. I'm just going to throw this screenshot in here because I thought it was funny that the moment I called his game ass, he went straight to racism because he couldn't even back up his own game because he knew it was bad. They know the game is ass, but they go straight to racism because the game is ass. Anyways, I'm going to end it here. Like and subscribe. There's more I could have said about them scamming investors, which I don't really know the issue with that right now because they said they're now working together and they're on percent again. So, uh, whatever, I guess. But yeah, the game is going to re-release tomorrow. It's going to have, shit, probably 10,000 players because how stupid the Roblox anime community is sometimes. But yeah, uh, make sure you guys do like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go play the new Pet Sim update. I'm going to be streaming it live on twitch.tv slash So tune in, go play some Pet Sim with the boy. 
And yeah, hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Peace.